Good evening, miss. My father has instructed that I introduce myself to our new neighbors. My name is... Who is yelling at you? On speakerphone. Do not tell me that is nothing. If you do not tell me, I promise you, I will find out and handle it regardless. Why are they screaming at you? I see. A co-worker upset that you could not cover their shift. Hmm. Well. There. The phone is destroyed. Here is a newer model. Just place the SIM card in your new phone and do not worry about being billed for it. Hmm. Very well. My name is Giovanni, or Gio. My parents, brother, and I live in the house next door, if you ever need anything. Are you the one that left the nice gift basket on our doorstep? I see. Well, it was very appreciated. Why did you procure such delicacies? Ah, you made them yourself? Interesting. Surely that must have taken you hours. Hmm. Again, it is appreciated. My family always appreciates kindness from our new neighbors. We've had many neighbors that have disliked our presence. But we will, of course, endeavor to be respectful. Thank you for allowing me to introduce myself to you, princess. I hope your evening is better. Princess! It is Giovanni, your neighbor. One so pretty and fragile should not wander the city alone, especially at night. Those men could have hurt you easily. I will let you go when you assure me you will not scream. Thank you. You may be on your way. I will clean this up. This is how I'll do so, to answer your question. Vampiric blood mist is an advanced technique, but quite handy. Am I a vampire? Yes, I am. As is my father. Mother is human, busy with her mafia work. Father is a personal assassin. Oh. I'm not worried about you speaking a word about any of this, because you're not like that, princess. I cased you as soon as I got home. We had to see if you might have tipped off and done something with the gift basket. All we found were memes and social media pictures, and a parking ticket, long since paid. You're squeaky clean, so you're either innocent or with a crime syndicate that's erased your history. I'm leaning toward the former. Poor little princess, you've had such a tough night already. If you'd like to continue your walk, I'm happy to keep to the shadows and protect you. You won't even know I'm there unless I allow it. I can also walk directly at your side, if you wish. I will not talk. I felt the raindrops and drew my umbrella to protect you. And yes... I am quite fast. My favorite color is blue. Yes, I like jazz. I have played the game, yes. I quit when a man threatened me, found where he lived, and I dealt with him. His wife was upset for a bit. I hooked her up with a local male model. They've got two kids now. Yes, I suppose playing matchmaker can be fun. I'm rather good at it as well. Mother finds it most amusing. Who would I matchmake you with? Hmm. You appear to like a stoic man. Strong. Willing to step in to protect you. And fond of only you. Someone vulnerable when you have him alone. 
I share some of the qualities, yes. But a princess like you doesn't need to concern herself with hanging around the son of an assassin and a mafia queen. Then, why was I out there? Oh, I was tracking the friend that was abusing you. They've been dealt with. No, no, not dead. I just cut their tongue out. No tongue, no yelling. No sad princess who deserved better. Princess, please. If I wish to eliminate all of your friends, in the hopes of belonging solely to me, it would be done already. Also, that is an uncharitable assumption of my character. I do not love, I do not feel. I am like a spider, poised to strike. Do not giggle at me. I am not cute. <laughs> if I were the type to feel, I might find it adorable that you can get away with being a brat. I might threaten you to throw you on the bed later so I can take your breath away. So much so that you would have no strength to be a brat. Ah, I give an inch and she is taken a mile. Lesson one, rookie mistake, Gio. I can assure you that, given this scenario, I would be able to provide more than one inch for your theoretical pleasure. Here, take my coat. It's cold. You are welcome. We should conclude this walk. The rain will be getting worse in ten minutes. I'll escort you home, like a gentleman. Did I have fun with you tonight? It was something. Now come, I won't have you catching a cold. Here we are, princess. I... I see you brought one of your danishes you made for the gift basket. Oh, you're offering it to me? Very well. Hmm. Yes, some danishes to go would be nice. Thank you. Do you want me to eat them all out of your hands? <laughs> Very well, shy girl. I thank you for these culinary treats. The whole family has been quite fond of them. Perhaps we could offer you a meal in kind one day. Yes, I would be taking you to our home to meet my parents and family. Did I misspeak? Very well. Good night, princess. I'll see you soon.